I hope, like, if, I, if I'd if i like to have a beard because it would hide the fact that I have zero chin. So. That's a good, I mean, if you're going to have goals, that's that's one that you could have. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. It's Hugo and Jake, they come in to take a look at the Koran So many mistake, it's gonna be great delivering more than Comedy, that's what they wanna be But honestly, it's fact from fiction Leaving lasting hits When Hugo and Jake take faith And illustrate contradictions Create apostates to be great Atheists make people who believe See the world in a different way What's on the episode today? Take it away, Hugo and Jake Loving the way, they're splitting the fact from the fake It's something to make those who hold faith Reevaluate and wake, wake up But they just stay stuck and hate us Wait and stay in place, no time Time to waste the Quran. Reload with Hugo and Jake. Hello, everyone. I'm Hugo. And I'm Captain Jake. And this. Okay, you didn't earn that title, by the way. That title was not earned. I don't think you Arr, that. Pirate. Is it Pirate is, Day? I don't. Uh, nope. This is the Quran Reloaded. That's I don't totally know irrelevant. I, this is Pirate Reloaded. When a pirate is cold, what does he wear, Hugo? I don't know. What does he wear? An Argyle sweater. Kill yourself. All right. So we're back to finally continue reading the Quran. It's been quite a while. We got busy with stuff, the election and all that jazz. So we did some reaction videos. But now we're back to actually get to the meat of the matter. And that is the garbage that is the holy book of the Quran. So. Oh, not pulling any punches there. Oh, I'm throwing shade today. I don't give a fuck. That's not shade. That's like, uh, it's like full burqa. Ooh, twice. Uh -uh. (laughs) Third Surah, verse 173. Those to whom the people have said, the people have mobilized against you, so fear them. But this only increased them in faith. And they said, God is enough for us. He is the excellent protector. <laughs> what? In, unless you're anyone that's ever had to be protected by him. Yeah. In which this, case, you're, you've are you been zero protected. This is also apparently, according to that Islamic source or whatever that I read, According to them, this is a, a reference to a battle that happened where the, the people from Mecca were like, Hey, Muhammad, meet us here in one year and we're going to fight. Almost like a like a macrocosm <laughs> of like a bully f- fighting you after school. <laughs> like at the flagpole? I, I would honestly, I would forget why we were mad at each other. Yeah. At, like a year later, I'd be like, nah, you know what? Let's squash that beef. And then what happened apparently was there was a drought or something in the area of the bad guys, the Mecca there people. Was. And they were like, oh shit, we can't battle Muhammad and his people. We are in terrible shape. So then they started spreading rumors about how powerful they were and that scared. Wait, like terrible shape, like they didn't do enough cardio or no, like, like us they, terrible shape? Like they were, no, like the opposite of us terrible shape where they don't have enough to eat. And they, um, <laughs> so they started spreading rumors like, oh no, we're doing so well. You best get ready, Muhammad. And then all of Muhammad's men were like, oh shit, they're probably really prepared. We shouldn't show up. And Muhammad's like, bitch, I'm going. And then he goes and like 13 men, 1300 men come with him. And the other people don't show up because they're bitches. And it's, it's a whole thing about like, oh, have wait, wait, faith. Wait, wait. Thir- 1300? Yeah. It, it, he said 1300. So. Wait, wait, that's not a war. That's a. It's... That's. <laughs> That's like a that's like a people getting angry at a soccer match. You know, you know. Actually, that's honestly true. There are more, like in a in a high stakes European football match, there are probably more angry people yeah. turning over cars than there right. were people in this historic <laughs> Muslim battle. Like fucking Newcastle, they're all just pissed off. So they came back with grace from God and bounty and no harm having touched them. They pursued what pleases God. God possesses immense grace, except for the majority of people going to hell. Uh, That's not really grace, but whatever, you get it. That is only Satan frightening his partisans, so do not fear them, but fear me if you are believers. Why we gotta fear him? Isn't Isn't the idea of a good person someone you wouldn't have to fear, but you respect? And that's why you follow him. It's like having a good boss. A good boss, you don't want to disappoint him. A bad boss, you just don't want to get yelled at. Yeah. I've only had I've only had the latter. And that's why I'm self-employed now. Thanks, guys. You Actually, are YouTube commenters uh considered our boss? Because <laughs> they'd like to think so, you're powerless. Because then I have I have bad bosses thrice. <sighs> you're stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it gets bad in here. <laughs> Tell you what, it is we are void of content. 
in our <laughs> brains. And do not be saddened by those who rush into disbelief. They will not harm God in the least. God desires to give them no share in the hereafter. A terrible torment awaits them. So don't worry, guys. God's going to give comeuppance to all those people who won't worship him, those assholes. Look on the bright side. All their children will suffer. That's good. That makes that usually makes me feel better. Like if someone cuts me off in traffic, I'd like God to shoot me a text message. Like, don't worry. I got them. Their kids are locked. Them. Their kids are locked in a closet somewhere burning. Yeah. Someone cuts me at line at the DMV, get a shoot text from, from God. Don't worry, his family has hereditary uh, Parkinson's. It's totally fine. That is actually pretty bad. If God just hands out Parkinson's to punish people. What did Michael J. Fox do? All in the family, I guess. <laughs> that ghost <laughs> movie? Ghost movie? What He's that ghost, ghost movie. Where he tries what? to be, where he tries, it's like rated R, I think, and he tries to swear and stuff, but we're just like, Marty. Maybe maybe Teen Wolf 2 was so bad that it set out a shockwave and affected everyone involved in the Teen Wolf franchise. <laughs> Do you know that in some parts of the world, Teen Wolf was billed as a sequel to Back to the Future? That makes me sadder than it should, I think. Yeah, that's just a fun fact. You know, you can see someone's uh, genitals in the end credits of, of uh, Teen Wolf. Male or female genitals? Male. That's the better of the two genitals to see. Yep. Sticks out more. Why do I know so much trivia about Teen Wolf? <laughs> Whose genitals were they? Just some background actor had his junk out. <laughs> he just during... pulled his dick out? Like, it's in the crowd. I'm telling you, Google this. In the background of the end credit scene after the basketball victory, uh, this dude just has his fucking dick and balls hanging out. The first Teen Wolf? First Teen Wolf. I've never watched the entirety of the second Teen Wolf. Teen nor Wolf should you. Dick. Yeah, that guy pulls his dick right out, doesn't he? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I can't. I mean, it's not really a good. Is it really? Like, okay, so I'm looking at this. It's the guy with the red, the red shirt. It doesn't really look like a lot of stuff. Like, I'm not seeing like very distinct. I'm just saying, Penis. if you show the picture, make sure to blur it, because you never know. Does it even count? I, I, I couldn't even... Like, it's blurred already. I'm not sure what he's got going on down there. <laughs> like, that could be that could be a whole... Uh, like, a pat situation. I don't know. Anyway, I guess we should talk about the Quran and not Teen Wolf Dick. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. You clicked on this probably for Teen Wolf Dick, and it, you happened upon a Quran study. Can we please just start a channel that's all about Teen Wolf and we'll just rewatch <laughs> Teen Wolf every week and point out different stuff? Jesus Christ. This is what the people want, goddammit. <laughs> the channel would be called Just Teen Wolf. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we're getting back to it now. God will not leave the believers as you are without distinguishing the wicked from the sincere, nor will God inform you of the future, but God elects from among his messengers whom he wills. So believe in God and his messengers. If you believe and practice piety, you will have a splendid reward. Just repeating shit over and over. You guys are good. The not you guys are bad. Da 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 da. Group think fuck you. It's like a self-help mantra, except there's no pyramid scheme. It kind of is a pyramid scheme, except instead of money, they were just funneling young women towards Muhammad. <laughs> just saying. Do you think it was just like the point of no return and that's why he's got the, the six-year-old? Or it's just like, like they got they got progressively younger and then just in a blur, suddenly we were at six. And I thought, I guess we'll marry now. We'll settle down. I think he got to a point where he's like, I can't back out now, guys. I mean, literally, I'm already in there, and it's super tiny. If I don't have sex with this child, then they will not believe anything I say ever again. So, oh, so it was like a, it was like a child sex to assert your correctness. Those who withhold what God has given them of His bounty should not assume that is good for them. In fact, it is bad for them. (laughs) They will be encircled by their hoardings on the day of resurrection. To God belongs the inheritance of the heavens and the earth, and God is well acquainted with what you do. What they're essentially saying here is, hey, you know, there are plenty of people who don't believe in Islam or even bad Muslims, but their lives are great. Like, they're super rich or, or you know, they're, they're Jewish and they're doing well even though they're not uh, Muslim. 
Uh, and that verse is essentially to try and say, no, no, I mean, I know they're doing good. I know we said Allah would bless you for believing in him, but sometimes that doesn't happen for some reason, and uh, they'll be judged on Judgment Day, I guess. It's, a, it's, it's like those people where you're not really fully filling a pothole, but you have that hot stuff that you got to do to kind of just patch it. <laughs> uh, they're doing that to the plot hole into their religion. That's last minute September road patches. So I, I'm just, I'm trying to think, like, how can Allah sit up there and judge Justin Timberlake based on his choice? Like, JT's, he's he's run a pretty good good race there. Like, I, I think you give him a pass. What a strange career. Fucking Mickey Mouse Club, boy band, solo artist, actor, right. sex icon. Like, he is fashion done everything. Fashion master. Full yeah. entertainer. I mean, he's a he's great a quadruple he's threat. Great. He could probably cook. Oh, Jessica Biel? He had her in her prime, and now she's just normal. God has heard the statement of those who said, God is poor and we are rich. We will write down what they said in their wrongful killing of the prophets, and we will say, taste the torment of the burning. So, what this is about is, <clears throat> again, from that Islamic source that I use. Apparently, this is in reference to some other verse in the Quran or something or some story. I don't know if it's uh, extra Quranic, if that makes sense. I don't know if it's a story outside of it. But at some point, they were like, hey, Jews, will you give a loan to Muslims or whatever? And then they made a joke like, oh, ho, ho, is Allah so poor now? Uh, you know. And then the rebuttal was something along the lines of, oh, you don't even know a prophet when you see it because you have tried to kill prophets even though you say that uh, a burnt offering is spontaneously combusting is a sign of a prophet. And then they go back to the story of Elisha. Remember, he did that thing with the Baal worshippers where they did the competition to see which uh, uh, will would light the Baal offering or the Yahweh offering. And then the Yahweh one did. And then Elisha got chased by... Uh, King Ahab. It's a whole okay, boring uh, thing. This is all very interesting, but can we can we focus on the part where all of the people involved are bad at comebacks? <laughs> You're <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> like they needed fucking Twitter and they needed to study and take notes. Yeah. I'm pretty good at the comeback. These people like these are like T ball comebacks and they're still missing. You know what's missing? Uh the clap emoji in between each word. That would have helped. That always makes your argument stronger and makes you not look like a douchebag. So definitely do more of that. Yeah, and then hashtagging random words inside because you think that means emphasis and not like a hyperlink. This is one account of what your hands have forwarded. And because God is not unjust towards the creatures, those who said, God has made a covenant with us that we shall not believe in any messenger unless he brings us an offering to be consumed by fire. Say, messengers have come to you before me with proofs, and with that you asked for. So why did you assassinate them if you are truthful? That's the comeback part. That's the, oh, you, you tried to kill Elisha. Even though King Ahab is not necessarily representative of every Jew who has ever lived, but whatever. If they accuse you of lying, messengers before you were accused of lying. They came with the proofs and the psalms and the illuminating scripture. So, because these specific people we don't consider liars, you can never call us liars. It is airtight. Fuck you. Do they just not meet the standards? Is it like the USDA beef? But of, <laughs> but of what you can call a liar? Yeah, like... Let's say we have standards. Uh, Moses was USDA grade A. Uh, Jesus is maybe like a B. He's all right, but he's not. He's not like prime. He's not going into like a real nice restaurant, but he can make it in maybe an Applebee's. And then, <laughs> and then Muhammad is he's the taco meat. He's the the Taco Bell meat that uh, <laughs> that comes in children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't real focused on that today. Didn't see that coming back around. Could have gone without it, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, well, we haven't done this in a while. Might as well get in the Muhammad as a pedophile jokes. That way next time we can be more reasonable and actually uh, try and be clever in our humor for the first time ever. Every soul will have a taste of death and you will receive your recompense on the day of resurrection. Whoever is swayed from the fire and admitted to paradise has won. The life of the world is merely enjoyment of delusion. That's... <laughs> That's a positive message for you kids out there. Hey, you know, I know you might be really enjoying your life, having fun, making friends, learning things, learning to love and be loved in return. Fuck it. Do what Allah says. This is all bullshit. They lived in the desert. Like how much of all that was there? Like yeah, to go fair. around. 
That's fair. That's why like, the pyramid schemed it to Muhammad, because he was... Like, even with everyone's everything, he still didn't have what, like, a normal person's amount. Because yeah, it was yeah, awful. Awkward teenage hand jobs are way worse in a desert, because you can never get rid of all the sand. Oh, dude. And plus, they weren't, like, circumcised, so there'd be, like, sandy folds up in there. Well, you know what? The good news is, maybe if you get sand in there and leave it long enough, one day a pearl will pop out. So <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. I'm I'm pretty confident that's how that would work. I don't think cock pearls are a thing. You know what? If I had foreskin, I'd prove you wrong, but... Just kind of roll it forward and tape it as best you can. We all make... learned something about me today. <laughs> that you can't make cock pearls? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hashtag cock pearls. <laughs> you will be tested through your possessions and your persons, and you will hear from those who received the scripture before you, and from the idol worshippers much abuse. But if you persevere and lead a righteous life, that indeed is a mark of great determination. So, basically, people are going to give you shit, there's going to be old people telling you what to do, Jews are going to make fun of you because of Allah and stuff, but do the thing, because... <laughs> We the told Cor- you to. The Quran is is basically uh, anyone that has like a Whole Foods card or an anonymous mask, like Guy Fox mask. Yeah. Or like one of those pins that they're doing now. Yeah. Or like a neck beard like this. Yeah. Let's do some Hugo beard watch. I don't know. Hugo beard watch. Yeah, I'm trying to grow a beard for No Shave November. It's officially the 16th, and I have almost nothing. I am not a beard person. Let's see how we're doing. Get it real close. Oh yeah. Oh, get up in there. Show us the follicles. Do you massage it at night? No, I don't. You should massage it at night more often. We need to get you, obviously we need to get you a a mustache comb and some oils. This is so gross. Oils like mine, mine for instance, I just trimmed it. And so, I mean, I'm not even like cotton. Like there are people who can do this in a day and it's taken me like, Oh yeah, that's that's weeks. definitely me in a day. That's, um, yeah, mine's so soft. Like I should, I should get slaves to pick it. Man, I should get my balls checked. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, I know. You can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can also subscribe to the channel. To I don't know. Look at our facial hair. I don't. I have no idea why you would make that decision. But it's your fucking call. Okay. It's your life. I'm not going to talk you in or out of it. Just do what you feel is best. You can always donate to our Patreon campaign. We do a once a month patron only hangout. That's a lot of fun. That'll be this Saturday. So definitely <laughs> check that out. I love that at this point, the that's a lot of fun thing is kind it's of just one, tacked it, on. That's a lot of fun. It's, it's not a even a descriptor anymore. It's kind of like the subtitle. Yeah. <laughs> it should be called Patreon hangout. That's a lot of fun. Actually, the next one will be called that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also if you want to donate to our patreon we do sort of a monthly loot crate uh non-copyrighted loot crate with a k uh where you get a monthly thing five dollars is signed chick tract ten dollars is stickers and buttons and 15 is 3d pop figures made out of paper they're pretty cool and of course you get all the tiers below the one that you are on so other than that until next time i'm hugo i'm jake this has been the Quran Reloaded. It's good to be back.